if you actually take responsibility for your soul choosing that, and some people get really mad at me when I say, take responsibility for what happened in your childhood. You might think you were an innocent child, but at the soul level, you chose it. Nothing happens to you that you can't handle. And some people came here to handle some pretty heavy stuff. That means they're professionals at transmuting darkness. It means that they're, that they're skilled at, at healing trauma. They know something that souls that can't handle that don't have. So I would say taking responsibility for everything that happens in life and using life as a teacher, that is the fastest route to enlightenment, so to speak, although enlightenment can't be reached because enlightenment means to, to know. And when do you ever stop knowing more? So enlightenment is a journey that never ends for eternity, really. But you can get to places of, shall we say, plateaus of enlightenment, where things are pretty pleasant for a while until another challenge of life comes up. And if you really want to know the biggest challenges in life, relationships, <laughs> friendships, family, all of that is really your teaching. There's nothing that turns you into a three-year-old faster than a relationship. <laughs> and if you want to find those three-year-old parts of yourself that aren't mature yet, be in a relationship. And that is going to be life's tool for teaching you. So. <laughs> yes, good point. <laughs> Um, okay, well, I would love to now kind of pivot and go into, um, because we're talking about our galactic origins, mm -hmm. um, I'd love to hear your concept on that. Do you have, I know you have relationship with your guides. Do you have a concept of yourself as a galactic being? Do you have a relationship to a certain planetary system? And just tell me some of your thoughts and views in that realm. Well, here's something some people are getting wrong. 